absolutely beautiful astrology soulmates it's me stormy grace and here is your weekly horoscope for the week of october 26th the last week of october for a couple days into scorpio season how you doing how you live in how you feeling out there what's coming up for you i would love to hear about that in the comment section down below especially since we're going to end out this week with a full moon happening in the energy of taurus but the sun is beaming in that scorpio energy so we know that there are still some really deep and intense fills that are that will be connected to this moon as well so let me know how you're doing in the comment section down below now this week is a lot of fun not only do we have halloween if that's something that you celebrate but even if you just take it back to the celtic idea of honoring the dead or the day of the dead that we see come out in mexico this time where we allow and celebrate not only the people places and things in our life that have come to a close but we honor them I think that is such a beautiful thing to remember this week as we're here and we're in Scorpio season honor what doesn't travel with you anymore it was a part of you and now it is just done so I think that's a very big important beautiful thing to do and of course honor the people in your life who have moved on as well your ancestors and so on okay let's get in here and let's talk about this week oh first and foremost my goodness we've got eat and greets definitely happening this week so coming on the 27th we'll have Shane M Nygaard who will be here and he is going to talk to us about the houses and the journey through the houses and this is not the same old yeah 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 that's the first house talk that you've heard you know you see in your wheel that your houses are numbered 1 through 12 going this way but actually the motion is this way so he is going to tell us all about it and the mysteries that he's found living within those houses so I can't wait to see you and we're going to close out um, October having Natai come and talk to us about the nodes so I would love to see you in the eat and greets remember you can watch them ad free by joining me over on patreon and if you are a patron already or you're thinking about becoming one the patreon is already hitting its first expansion I've got some patron only apparently my earring is done for today I've got some patron only content that will be available up on the patreon as well all right, let's get in here and let's talk about this week. So as we're coming into this week, just yesterday, which would have been the 25th of October, we had the Sun and Mercury, although it's retrograde, coming together in this beautiful conjunction, which means that the way we communicate, the vitality even behind how we communicate is pretty intense. It's big. It's, it's beautiful. It's loaded with passion. It's loaded with desire and feeling. So if you were talking about or things were coming up yesterday, I'm sure there had an energy of intensity around it, especially especially in Scorpio, but nonetheless, it was a really solid energy for doing the communication or decision making that you needed to do, especially if you were reviewing or revising plans or something from the past. Now, as we come into the week, we really need to get going on the 26th, the day that Shane M. Nygaard is coming. On the 26th, what's going to happen is that Mercury, who's been retrograde in the energy of Scorpio, is now going to slip and slide back there and keep this retrograde party going back into the energy of Libra. Now we have seen this. Mercury has come all the way through Libra already. So now he's going back and going to take a brief little look at this particular area. So questions of balance, questions in your relationships, questions of your, your things that you think um, deserve justice. These will be things that come under that review as Mercury is going to finish out his retrograde in the energy of Libra and will actually be coming direct on the third, which we know is, is a big day next week, but we'll get to that next week. So as he reviews this Libra energy, remember you've already seen it. Okay. Now on the same day, which I think is such a beautiful start to the week, Venus moves into Libra as well. She's in her home court home court advantage right so libra is here she is abundant she is powerful it is beautiful there is a strength coming from this beautiful harmonious magnetic energy and it's about your relationships it's about where you need to have balance and bring harmony in your life it's about um your money 
absolutely about your money. So I think that as Venus moves in here and is ready to rock and roll in the full comforts of Libra, we can also see the beautiful mind coming about because Libra is an air energy as well. So lots of ideas. She doesn't work the same way in Taurus that she does here in Libra. But this will have a connection at that moon as we get to the end of the month as well since Venus is a ruling planet, is the ruling planet of the full moon that we're going to have because she'll be up in in Libra unobstructed not having any problems this is a good omen for having a really good full moon for us as well challenges but pretty good now as we jump and we get to the end of this week this is where some of the action-packed stuff is really happening first of all we're gonna have Halloween so happy Halloween Samhain whatever you're welcoming in absolutely beautiful day of the dead if that's something that you're celebrating whatever your celebrations are in Scorpio season I believe that we also have Diwali which I was so fortunate for some of you to teach me about a couple years ago. So whatever you're celebrating or whatever's coming to you in terms of festivals, I really, um, I love that for you. Now it's a special kind of Halloween when we have a full moon on it. And this particular full moon is special for a couple reasons. First of all, it's the third one of the month. So we call it a blue moon, like once in a blue moon, right? We don't regularly have three moons in a month. So this is that once in a blue moon kind of energy. And because this particular moon is the second one that we're having after the equinox, it's right here as we're getting ready to slow things down. This is also called the hunter's moon because what it essentially does is it gives a lot more light. You have the full moon, like, you know, the daytime ends and then you fall under this full moon energy that is shedding all of the light that we get in the month. So you have more time to hunt and gather and prepare and get ready for what's next. So it's really, it's a blue moon hunter moon full moon in Taurus kind of energy it's really got its own little vibe going on now of course we will have that full moon happening in the energy of Taurus at nine degrees so make sure you grab your chart you locate nine degrees of Taurus so you can see what's happening and what's going on over here the full moon says that something needs to be ended acknowledged or adjusted we are going to create an energetic shift here and it comes and is motivated from the inside out something in your security is being challenged here now we'll also have that moon in conjunction with Uranus. So this is bringing a surprise to the table. It's going to put the sun in opposition, the sun in Scorpio in opposition to Uranus who's down in Taurus. So this is a surprising full moon. I would not be surprised if something unexpected, whether it be challenging or really easy, something unexpected about this next four weeks or even just this day is up and on your menu. Now, like I said, because Venus is in the energy energy of Libra so feeling good looking good smelling right that is really an indicator at this moon of some of the things that may be surprising to us Libra things relationships money justice balance those could be some of the surprises that pop in for you at this particular moon now as we're bringing this particular week to a close if you're in an area that practices daylight savings time you're going to want to on sunday november 1st you are going to want to set those clocks back we fall back at this time of the year so set them back and get prepared so you can be on schedule if you i found this out if you have not adjusted your scheduling, um, your, your calendars and your schedulers for work and things like that, make sure you also have that conversation in this next week or so, so you and your clients and your day can stay on track and on time with each other and also have a lot of grace with people who are doing daylight savings time in case a couple things fall through the cracks, okay? Really, I think um, in the weeks that we have had in a while, this is one that is relatively... I think big things happen at the new moon, but the week itself has a lot of space to breathe. So I hope that you take it, invest in it. And of course, more than anything, enjoy Scorpio season. Enjoy Venus and Mercury getting back into Libra so you can have these beautiful conversations and discussions with your relations and with your money and with your art and your creativity, okay? All right, my beautiful friends, I look forward to seeing you in the Eat and Greet, seeing you on Patreon, Instagram, Facebook, all the places that we see each other. But most importantly, I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye, everyone.